Williams is a mission specialist for Crew-9. This was her third visit to the International Space Station. She originally launched aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft and arrived at the space station on June 6th. Following the agency's decision to return Starliner uncrewed, she became an Expedition 71 and 72 crew member, where she logged 286 days in space on this mission. But Sunny has a total of 608 days in space, the second most time in space by a U.S. astronaut. Five minutes until predicted calm blackout. We'll see you on the other side at 21.51. Twenty one fifty one, talk to you soon. And with that call out from the crew operations resource engineer to Commander Nick Haig, letting them know that everything is looking good ahead of the loss of signal period. We will see the crew on the other side of the loss of signal period at 2.51 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. Uh, continuing on uh, about Sunny Williams, who has a total of 608 days in space, the second most time in space by a U.S. astronaut. Former NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson actually ranks first for the U.S. with 675 days in space. Sunny conducted two spacewalks and has completed nine over the course of her career for a total of 62 hours, six minutes of spacewalking time. She ranks fourth on the list of cumulative time spacewalking by a female astronaut, and she has flown on four different spacecraft types, including the Space Shuttle, Soyuz, Starliner, and now Dragon. Previously, she served on Expedition 14 and 15 in 2006 and 2007, and again with Expedition 32 and 33 in 2012. She's a retired U.S. Navy captain and is a proud graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and was the first astronaut to run a marathon in space. <laughs> Pretty awesome stuff.